Good morning. Um, I'm with here anthropologist Professor BC of Yale University. Okay. Um, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. Sure. Question one. What was your first fossil discovery? Well, my first fossil discovery ever was finding the remains of the Homo erectus. Um, when, we, when we came to the site, uh, after we started digging for a few days, we uncovered a partially complete skull, the pelvis, uh, some ribs, finger and toe bones, and a femur. Um, and uh, once we put the pieces together, this evidence came out uh, to show evidence of a female Homo erectus. And then uh, once we took uh, the bones and pieces back to the lab, uh, our carbon dating in the lab showed us that the remains came out to be about 1.8 million years old. Um, <clears throat> and we, the site we actually found the fossils uh, was in West Africa at a site called Kerhem in Malawi. So that's a little bit about uh, one of my uh, discoveries. Professor, what was the oldest hominid you ever discovered? Well, my oldest discovery I ever uh, found was the remains of Australopithecus afarensis. Um, I found the remains um, of a 3.7 year old teenage, uh, once again, <clears throat> Australopithecus afarensis. I found uh, him at a site in East Africa near Kenya. Um, the leg bones showed deformity and uh, problems in the growth indicating some sort of bone disease was definitely present in this young child um, and was most likely the cause of it, its death. Tell me a little about the site you were working on in um, Kenya. The site I was actually at in Kenya was Panga Ya Saidi. And it's one of the oldest sites, and it's um, around 80,000 years old. Um, the Homo sapien remains we actually found, um, it was some sort of like burial ground. And a lot of the, the, the fossils had, um, and the skeletons, they had some sort of uh, weird thing that clearly was wrapped around uh, their head and their body. And a lot of it has disintegrated now, so we don't know exactly quite what that was. But um, something was being wrapped around the head and, uh, and the parts of the body, um, possibly for ritual purposes. Professor, so I see that you brought in a skull. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Okay, so the skull I have with me here, um, it's actually uh, a young Homo erectus skull, so it's fairly small. You could tell it, um, it was possibly around uh, turning into teen teenagehood. Um, and you know it's Homo erectus, it has large eyebrow ridges, as you can see here, deep sunken in eyes. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot uh, get the bottom jaw, it was, we could not find that at the site. Uh, and this is around 1.5 million years old, um, and its cranial capacity is uh, 850 cc. And um, this was found in Hexian, China, at a site we have going on there that I visited. And this is what uh, we uncovered. Um, and as you can see, the, the skull is kind of dented in and uh, injured and missing a lot of pieces. So that could detect um, some sort of head injury was the cause of death of this, this young homo erectus. Hey, Professor, I've, I've noticed that you brought this fear. Well, this stick spear I actually have with me was found at a cave site in Africa at the Sterkfontein Caves. And um, that is where I was researching and I uncovered this in one of the caves. Um, it's about a 70,000 year old spear, clearly made the sharpening from uh, stones and stuff. And this was mainly for definitely hunting uh, smaller mammals and such to, to eat. So. This is the spear that was used by early people. Tell me a little bit about these small sticks over here. So these smaller sticks that I have here are actually needle tools. And I also found these uh, at the site in China um, in Hexian. And um, these are around 43,000 uh, years old or so. Um, this one is just more like a, just a sharp, uh, small and sharp, and this is more of a bone. Um, this is actually a needle tool uh, made out of bone. 
Um, so this shows uh, probably the earliest signs of sewing was going on and clothing making was uh, happening. So pretty interesting. But like I said, um, these regions are made out of bone and this is about 43,000 years old. Tell me a little bit about the rocks that I see in the corner. Okay, so these rocks um, we found at a site up in South Africa. Um, this was used for carving, as you can see how flat it was. This was a piece that broke off of a bigger spoon uh, that was more fitting for the hand. Uh, as you can see, there's a perfect um, hand uh, print right where there should be someone holding uh, the rock, and this was for carving. As you can see, another flat rock for a different type of tool for a specific uh, type of carving to get a certain shape in the wood or whatever was being carved. My next uh, uh, rock that I have with me um, was for sharpening, and that you can see from the extreme flatness of this stone here. Uh, this was used for sharpening uh, tools, and uh, that's what its main use was back in the Stone Age. So my next stone I have um, <clears throat> is a scraping stone, and uh, this was this specific one was used. Uh, um, a long time ago uh, to get some sort of um, food source out from something or to like decarve something because there's black uh, residue all over the side of this rock could be from old food could be from uh, carving uh, whatever uh, out of to get that sort of resin on there so this was used for some sort of scraping or uh, carving of some sorts so that's this rock So this rock is especially interesting because it has some sort of a engraving in it. And this is from about like 2 million years ago. So this is pretty uh, interesting to see so early on uh, the, the early design of uh, our early ancestors. So that's an interesting rock as well. well. Thank you for your time, Professor BC. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you.